Hey there, guys. Let's take a question talking about grip pressure. It's not a bad question, actually. Does the amount of grip pressure vary with the trigger action of the pistol, i.e. a Glock versus a nice 1911 versus a uh, double single trigger pull? I may be talking myself into something here, but I feel like I need to apply more support hand pressure when shooting a Glock with this longer, heavier pull in an effort to maintain accuracy. Uh, yeah, I don't think that's all that crazy. Um, and let me, let me give you a good comparison. It'll be between a, a CZ and a Glock. Um, with the CZ, I'm going to get the best results, making sure my support hand stays connected to the pistol. And it, and it you know, it's pretty heavy, so it doesn't move that much, the gun. But I just have to get enough support hand pressure in there, again, to make sure the gun stays connected. Now, I can pull the trigger straight on this thing because heavy gun, light trigger, it's not that hard to pull the trigger straight, especially if you're at all like taking your time. If you're in any way trying to pull the trigger carefully, it's really not that hard to pull it without moving the gun. Okay. Uh, and when I typically I'm not shooting, you know, slowly where I'm like aiming super perfectly at everything, the shooting's going to be faster and more dynamic. So with this gun, I'm going to do better, in a sense, getting my firing hand to unclamp on the gun as much as I can get it to unclamp on the gun. Um, and interestingly, I don't think this is really related too much to the uh, caliber that I'm shooting. It's, it's, like, it's not a recoil thing. It's like the weight of the gun and the weight of the trigger thing. It's like when the, it's a light trigger and a heavy gun, it's like as much as I can get my hand to relax on the gun, I will do better. Even if this thing was chambered in 40, it would be the same way. Now, uh, with the Glock, the trigger's a little bit longer in terms of travel, a little bit heavier in terms of the resistance there. So I just, I can't pull it quite as fast. That's one thing. But then the other thing is because the pistol's lighter, it's easier to move it, right? So I find with the Glock, I get more success making sure my firing hand is, is not over tense, but I'm firmly connected to the pistol. And I don't just mean like my normal index point is my thumb here and I have my fingers wrap around. I mean like every piece of the grip, like I feel the gun you know, really filling my hand and I feel contact all the way around and it's more firm contact, all right? I'm gonna do better like this with a lighter pistol and, the, and, and a heavier trigger. Now, I don't have, I don't have it in the room with me, but let's say we make this gun smaller, make it a Glock 19, take away the grip tape. Well, then even more so, you know, I'm going to have more pressure on it, right? I would say with both hands and, um, you know, yeah, that'll, that'll get me the best results with that gun. Uh, so is the grip pressure going to change based on the gun? If you're really, really, really optimizing your technique, I would say yes, yes. It's going to it's going to change um, again, just based on based on the trigger system and how heavy the gun is. I would agree with this. I would say yes. I'm changing up the pressures, but I'm curious what you guys think. Uh, let me know on this one. Different. Uh, well, what variables do you think are important as well? So is it? I mean, I would say the size of the gun, how, uh, the weight of the gun. All right, um, so bigger gun, easier to hang on to. Heavier gun, not gonna move around as much. Lighter trigger, easier to pull without flexing other muscles. What other variables do you think there are? Um, I'd be curious, I'd be curious. Put it down below, guys.